Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on subdural hematoma. Subdural hemorrhage or hematoma means that there is bleeding from the bridging veins between the cortex and the venous sinuses, causing an accumulating hematoma between the dura matter and the arachnoid matter. So it is beneath the dura matter, so it is called as subdural hemorrhage. You can see in this picture here, this is to compare between the epidural hematoma and the subdural hematoma. So epidural will be above the dura matter, whereas subdural is below the dura matter, between the dura and the arachnoid matter. So in this video, I will talk about the subdural hemorrhage. The risk factors for one having subdural hemorrhage is, for example, for elderly, where Old age causing brain atrophy will make their bridging veins vulnerable and easier to rupture. Trauma can also cause subdural hematoma. And this trauma is often forgotten by the patient as it was so minor or so long ago where it can be up to 9 months. Then the symptoms occur. Falls especially frequent falls due to epileptics or if the patient is alcoholic. And other risk factors include anticoagulation, increasing the bleeding tendency. The symptoms include a fluctuating level of consciousness, which is seen in 35% of the cases. And they might also have insidious physical or intellectual slowing, sleepiness, headache, personality change, and also unsteadiness. The signs include signs of increased intracranial pressure, seizures, and they may also have localizing neurological symptoms which occur later, such as unequal pupils or hemiparesis, often more than one month after the injury. For investigations, we can do imaging like CT or MRI scan of the brain, where we will be able to see a blood clot. You can see in this picture here, the CT scan of the brain. So look for this crescent-shaped collection of the blood over one side of the hemisphere. So this arrow is pointing towards this crescent shaped hematoma, which is suggestive of a subdural hematoma. And sometimes they might also have midline shift, which is seen in this second picture here. Midline shifting to the left side, when the hematoma is at the right side. For management, reverse the clotting abnormalities urgently. Surgical management depends on the size of the clot, the chronic CT and the clinical picture. Generally, those more than 10 mm or with a midline shift more than 5 mm will need evacuating of the hematoma, and it can be done via craniotomy or burr hole washout. And we should also find out the cause of the trauma, whether it is due to falls or abuse, and this is for further management. So, this is all for this video. Thank you.